Hey Sportsbeat, my name is David Lazar and I am here with Hofstra Club Ultimate Frisbee co-captain Aiden Henry. Aiden, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, could you tell us a little bit about the history of the program? Yeah, absolutely. It's a kind of a long history. Uh, we've been around for 12 or 13 years or so. We compete in the Division I Metro East Conference against, you know, big schools like Rutgers, Stony Brook, um, we play a lot of the Ivy Leagues, Princeton, Columbia, Yale. You know, we're kind of going up against some giants, um, and it does feel a little bit like David uh, versus Goliath at some points, but um, we're hoping to build kind of a, a team here that can be super competitive for years going forward. So. And what's your favorite part about being a part of the program? It's just a super fun program. Uh, we're all super good friends on the team, and I think part of the benefit of Ultimate as a sport is there's a lot of camaraderie between teams, um, especially in our conference. We're a pretty tight-knit conference, and throughout the years, you kind of build friendships with, with folks on other teams that you play against. Um, Long Island specifically has a really cool Ultimate culture. Um, everyone knows each other, so that makes for some really awesome friendships kind of as you develop your game here. I know it's a big season coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic. How are you guys doing this year? We're doing all right. We're, we're working really hard. We have a lot of progress to, to be made, but we're having a lot of fun. It's like I said, sometimes we go up against these big schools and, and it's really tough. These games are not always where we want them to be, but we had our sectionals playoffs recently. Um, they went very well. We played some really tight games, some really close games against some opponents that have some really long storied uh, histories of success so just kind of some fire for the spring because we have more sections playoffs in the spring and we're hoping to to win and hopefully go to regionals so and why has some of this competition and adversity been good for your team especially the freshmen who are just joining yeah i mean i think as a team it's it's something we can use as motivation losing games isn't fun uh, but it's something you can always use as a, a learning experience uh, i think for the freshmen what's super cool is this sectionals playoffs for many of them was their first tournament experience in Ultimate, um, which I'm jealous of because it was about the most intense experience you could have at a tournament. Like shout out to them because they really, really took that challenge and played like really, really well. So it was it was a super fun experience. Kind of like I said, we got to use these these losses as some fire for us in the spring. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the rookies are just it's, it's super fun this year. Out of COVID now, we can play, and it just feels really good to be able to play outside, so. That's awesome to hear, and now, what would be even more awesome is if you could teach me some of your skills. So could we head to the field and show me some of the moves? Absolutely. Joining Aiden and I is team member Evan Bernstein. Evan, welcome. Thank you. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go over some of the basic throws of Ultimate. There are two basic grips in Ultimate Frisbee. So there's a backhand and there's a forehand. Uh, the forehand we call a flick, but I'll kind of explain that in a bit. So on the backhand, I'm a lefty, you're a righty. I'm a righty. Uh, so pretend we're in a mirror, um, but I'm gonna use my right leg as my pivot foot, or my right foot as my pivot foot. You would use your left foot as your pivot foot. I'm going to step across my body. I'm gonna drop my hips a bit and then turn lightly and then use my wrist to guide my motion. So if I'm trying to hit this person right here, I'm stepping across, finishing right there. Um, now a flick is kind of a similar motion, except you're stepping back and you're stepping forward or you're stepping up. So you're using this leg, instead of using it to step across your body, uh, you're using it to open up your body. Interesting. So if I'm trying to throw it to the same place, I'm gonna step behind, step here, step forward, and I'm dropping my elbow, and I want my elbow to be flush with their chest. So if I'm throwing my flick, I'm going in, dropping my elbow, finishing right here and I still want my hand to be there. Kind of like if you're throwing a baseball and you're finishing your trajectory where you want it to end up. So if I'm trying to hit it, finishing, and I want my hand there. Now I'll show you the actual grip of the play. So on your backhand, you want all your fingers under the disc. Um, you want your index finger kind of guiding and you can use this as a stabilizing kind of piece. And you want your thumb on top of the disc. Now on your flick, you're gonna take two of your fingers and the closer the better. I like to have them a little bit separate because my hands aren't super big. Um, and then you have your two fingers on the outside. Your thumb is still on top, but you're holding it like you're holding a dinner plate. Kind of, if I'm handing you. So I'm dropping in, finishing right there. Now I think you should try it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so on the backhand, yep. this is good for him. Yeah, and you can even drop this in. 
Yep. Perfect, perfect. All right, so mirror. So left foot's my pivot, and uh, yep. I'll You're give it a go. Across your body and finishing right there. Yep. Perfect. Nice. All right, there we go. Looks good. And that now flick. the tough one, the, the tough flick. One. All right. So same left pivot foot, and then I'm gonna flick it. Yep, and you're stepping out. You're opening up your body to the throw. All right, like this? Yep, well, so you're gonna wanna finish in like this. Love it. These fingers touch to the, the rim of the wrist. All right, perfect. Nice. All right, a little wobbly, <laughs> but it looks good. A little wobbly, yeah, it does look good. All right, well, thanks so much for teaching me. Yeah, of course. One more thing, though. I think you should go for a deep cut. A deep cut? Start running. 